I see some fighting in the distance here. I had just left this area because of Krieg. Okay, got him taken care of. This, see, like, this is how you do it now. What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to that bloody good time that is V Rising. We last left off, I have Quincy the Bandit to kind of take care of. And I did some upgrades. So I got myself the Merciless Night Stalker boots. And here's my ring, Ring of the Spell Weaver. So now we're pretty much at the top gear score we can be for this level of progression. As you can see, we've made our way through all the bosses in Act 1, except for Quincy the Bandit King. So we're going to go take care of him in just a second here. I don't think we really need anything else. I have some gems in my pocket. Put those away. Beautiful. I did want to make the other ring that was available. What is it? The Ring of the Dusk Watcher. However, I didn't have any topaz, so shame on me. Shame on me. So I'm gonna just kind of head out. Quincy the Bandit King lives right here in the Bandit Stronghold, just north of the graveyard. So I'm just gonna kind of run through here, pillage real quick, and I'll meet you back over by our boy. As we can see, we pretty much have no blood right now. However, we're gonna be making our way through the Bandit Fortress, so we should be okay. I just need to find something kind of decent, like that's Worker Blood 9. I'm just gonna take care of him real fast what's this other guy just some warrior blood i'm gonna take the five percent blood just to give me a little something to play with here and so we don't die from <laughs> starvation here so five percent brute whatever it's just to tide us over for the moment let's turn into our bear form remember you can use explosives that you learn from your boy clive here you can get these minor explosive boxes, or you can just turn into bear form and come smash the gate. Both quite satisfying. However, we both, we all know bear form is top shape right there. 42% worker blood. That's really nice. 77% brute blood there. So we're going to go take care of him. That's not what I meant to do at all. There we go. Oh, dick. Got him. So where did he go? He should just be hanging out up here, right? Which one is it that I want? The guy in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna say this should be pretty simple. Kind of sneak back there. Okay, dickhead. Ow. Rude. That's on me. Thanks for the good blood, brother. Get that Gluck on. When we get to Act 2, we will build our first, like, real base. For now, it just is what it is. I do want to take this fight at night so we can loot and pillage later. 63% blood, not too shabby. So we're just going to kind of go through and get what we got here. Unholy. Nope. Did they see me? They did not. Thankfully. Going to hit them with this. Take care of this archer. Bane of my existence. Get the quick suck. It's always good for a little insta-kill. You just got to make sure to right click or left. Yeah, left click out of it so you don't accidentally take the blood if that's not what you're looking to do. These guys don't seem to mind. Oh, I was going to say he didn't seem to mind what I just did to all his brothers out there. However, he does now. Goodbye, friend. Give me that. Ooh, an enchanted brew. I'll drink that. Cheers, boys. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot, too. Enchanted Brew gives you a 30-minute buff spell power increase by 4. 
Don't sleep on brews, brothers, sisters. They're very useful. Ferocious brews. Just any brew, really, because they last for 30 minutes. But you're probably like, oh, shabby, I die a lot. Well, one, it's probably because you're not using brews. And two, you still keep those benefits after death. So they are retained. So an even better reason to not be sleeping on them since you keep, get to keep the benefits when you die. So no more excuses. Go get your brews. <sighs> Try not to get close to that fire. Oh, I got hit by it still. Nothing in there. Nothing in there, I don't think. Horse thread. Just trying to see if there's any like golden chests or something available for me. Good little combo here. I love the unholy. It's it's slowly becoming a a fan favorite for myself for solo builds because of the extra damage you can get from it and just the extra little bits of ads to add to the confusion. Bam, bam, bam. Like, look at that. Like, the ads took a little bit of that confusion from them for me. I don't see any chests in there. Okay, good. We're moving up. I don't know why I used my dash there. Poor timing. Archer. Okay, 6%. One. Okay. We'll obliterate the left one first, then we'll move in for the kill on the right. Okay, it wasn't able to dodge that exact oh my word, that stung a bit. Gotta play this right here. Show me what you got. To the challenge. Rise to the challenge. Okay, couldn't just dodge out of that. Show me what you've got. A rousing battle. Oh, okay, didn't get, wasn't able to dodge that either. It's all right, we're doing fine still. We're okay. Just gotta do that. Oh, he moved. Ouch, he reflected that to me. He's a dickhead. It's all right. Good fight, brother. Not a big fan of the maze, but it's an okay weapon. And it's my only... Well, I have two merciless. I also have the spear and the axes. Axes aren't too bad, honestly. But I'd still rather use the mace myself. Ooh, got that. I'm gonna pick up all these goodies here. I see a book in the corner. Must have been from that minion we killed. Minor sun resistance brew. Don't think I have that. So that's useful. Grab all this stuff. All right, what did we get there? I got the, ooh, veil of blood. So next attack consumes leech, increasing your physical damage output by 21%. That's actually pretty nice. The leech is obviously good. However, I'll take that damage buff. <laughs> I'll take that damage buff. And with that, we've completed Act 1 and got our first ultimate here. You can use this to pin enemies and get some good little damage in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, pillage the town. Hey, a chest. Take all that. So when I say pillars of town, I mean, I'm going to go break all the barrels to get some more wet stones, perhaps, because we're going to need those later to make scourge stones. And then it just saves me from having to craft them myself. Plus other little things we might need along the way, like some linen, some cloth, threads, whatever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Plus, I might find some more of the recipes that I'm missing. I figured since we were near the graveyard, we might as well come by and see our good friend Nicholas so we could maybe get another easy gem recipe from him. Remember, like I've told you all before in the past, Nicholas is a great way to farm off 
your gem recipes, aka like your amulets and whatnot. Beard. This will give me some more minions to be a distraction. I'm just gonna come in and give him a couple hits here. Let's test that meat suit of yours. I'm just gonna come over here and give these guys a couple wallops. Oop. I was not paying attention to you, sir. Just kind of moving this way. I want to try and lay out as many good little minions as we can here. Oh my, I took some damage there. There's that ultimate for you to see. And now he's down. Get some big damage with the mace. And of course, we're pretty not over. Well, we are over leveled, but we're higher level than him as well. So it does benefit to us that way. But I did get the ring of the dawn runner. I believe that is new for us. Got to double check that. Do a little fact check. That should be a nice little improvement there. We also got exsanguinated rock when triggered consumes leech from up to three targets healing self for 1.70 maximum health per target yeah not great we'll, we'll scrap it though i also did find that minor sun resistance and i found a simple furniture book while i was clearing out that bandit camp all right time to just head home and i think we're going to build ourselves a stone coffin just so we can kind of progress our next little parts here before we move into checking out act two checking our books first at the research desk i did not have simple furniture which is nice and i also didn't have the ring of the dawn runner and we got the resistance brew so the only extra book i picked up along the way was the merciless night stalker leggings which i'm just going to run over to our devourer throw that in there i'm also going to throw this gem in here because that's useless to me as it is I'm over to my flower chest. Just going to start dropping everything I can in here. Clean up our inventory a smidge. Same thing over there. I believe these are still working from some of the sulfur. Oh, no. They've already finished the sulfur. Very nice. Put that in there then. Tannery. can take that. Come in here. Throw the wood in. Grinders. can throw those in some stone dust can come in here as well and then we just got to go throw the hearts into our little blood press here Put these away i'm just holding on to those for whatever purpose honestly i think i'm also going to scrap up actually no i'm not going to scrap this just yet because i might need it it is now night time So I'm thinking the first things we're going to go do real fast is we can now get iron. Why don't we take what we got and head to the iron mines and do ourselves a little iron mining. But first, let's get this taken care of. So build a stone coffin. We go here. Production, dominance. I'm going to just need crude amethyst, grave dust, and stone brick. Okay. Crude Amethyst. This can also go in here. Grave Dust. And Stone Brick. Perfect. So I'm going to build... This is the new Plague Chemist casket. So I'll build this so everyone can see it. I think it looks pretty neat. Boop. So that's that. Looks real nice. Oh, baby. There's your plague chemist casket. How beautiful. How beautiful. All right. Now we can construct and interact with a servant coffin. I need a greater blood copper ingots and planks. So I'm actually going to need you to do this for me. That'll take two minutes. That's okay. We'll let that happen. Let's go grab some copper. I've got plenty here. Copper, planks. And then we can do the servant coffin and that'll give us dominate human. And then what I'll probably just do is just grab a, a quick bad Larry from down here. doesn't need to be any good. Honestly, I just need to do it to progress this little part of the story. 
And because I'm in a single player on a local server, time doesn't run when the game is closed. So for me, servants are basically 100% useless. So I'd rather just imprison them, use them for blood later. But yeah, that's, you know, but when you're playing on an actual server, like when you're on the Shabby Doo community server that is out there, information in the Discord, the server runs 24 seven. So servants are actually very useful. Very, very useful. And they're also useful in PVP as well. We'll probably also go grab Beatrice the Tailor while we're in that direction so we can unlock cotton yarn in the loom so that way we can start to process that, get ourselves our new cloak, as well as start to make the hollow fang armor that we've unlocked by getting our boy the Bandit King because we're also going to need that yarn to build the tailoring bench in order to build <laughs> that said item anyways. But now, there we go. Greater Blood Essence is ready. I'm going to just take that out, put these back. We come back this way, put my amethyst away. Thank you. And we can now build our servant coffin. I'll just throw him just right here by the rats, I suppose. Cool, claim. Now the next thing it's going to want us to do is use Dominate Human to convert him into a servant. And then we'll get the castle thrown from that. a guy right there so we'll take him with us there's some more people there I'm just basically taking the people that are the farthest away from me so I don't have to fight my way out you know what I mean no chest respawns nope might as well take the 11% rogue and then let's go dominate human bam all right, now he's our friend. So I'm just going to go. Oh, yeah, you can't go wolf form. You can't do anything really while you're converting. So I'm just going to walk home. There is a lovely item. I'm not sure when it gets unlocked. It might already be unlocked, but it's made in the alchemist bench. It's called like a dust collar. And what it does is when you have someone, when you have a follower converted like this, you can actually just automatically teleport them back to one of your cells. So one of your prison cells. So it's a very useful item, to say the least. Like super far from home, you don't want to run all the way back. Bam. All right, put this idiot in the coffin. Oh, I need some blood essence. Stand by. I've got a little bit of that laying around, I think. Convert. So it'll take him four minutes to convert, and that's fine. So while he does that, we can we can leave and go on our adventure to pro potentially find Beatrice as well as grab a bunch of iron. We might get lucky and be able to kill Krieg and the that oh Krieg and what's him call it um, the bright the blight archer. I forget her name now. Lydia? No, Lydia's the chaos alt archer. I don't know whoever she is. We'll kill that lady too. We might not be able to do it directly. My idea is to make them fight against each other because that's just kind of how we like to play. So let's see, what do I have for portals open? So we need to get up there. Actually, I could just go, this is the, the mines here. So I'm actually better off just running directly north out of my house and going over there. So we'll do that. Be a good chance for us to grab a horse too since I haven't gone into the tier two area to grab a horse because the reason I have it is because normally what I do between running around from place to place when we're recording, obviously, is I do farming in between. So it's like if I if I'm near Clive, say, like I'll go kill Clive and grab all the sulfur nodes there, and that's how I get more sulfur. Same with like the copper nodes, etc. So that's why in Act One I didn't really care too much about a horse. Adventure at the Iron Mines. Looks like there's already a fight going on there and there into the shadows here oh my god she's level 50 she's gonna sting a smidge yeah we're definitely not gonna fight her intentionally Bless this shot. she's gonna sneak by you guys excuse me excuse me don't mind me I'm just gonna pick up the remnants here and if we let her fight Krieg, we might be able to just pick up the remnants. If not, that's all right. We'll get ourselves an iron weapon. 
for the next time. Come on. Thank you. We'll get, like I said, we'll get ourselves an iron weapon. We'll have some armor made, so it won't be such a big deal. So I'll ping you all if anything wonderful happens while we're inside the depths of the caves here. But otherwise, I'm just going to be mining up some iron. And maybe trying to get Krieg. I see some fighting in the distance here. I had just left this area because of Krieg. Okay, got him taken care of. This, see, like, this is how you do it now. So I'm going to extract her blood first because she's the hardest of the bunch here for sure. Like, look at that. Like, that's how you get these two bloods super early and super easy all at the same time. Suck this blood. Normally what you can do is you can lead them into each other to fight. Especially if these undead guardians are around, they'll deal some good damage to her too. Ah, look at that easy fight. I had left this spot because I farmed down here because Krieg came and he made me nervous. And then I went looking for the archer to try and lure him over and then I noticed they were fighting in the distance, so that's the easiest way to get these two. Super easy. Krieg's a level 44 and he gives you the Reaper and then the Blight Archer as we saw was level 50, so she's a bit harder. So let's see what we got here. So Krieg's unlocked, so now we've got the Reaper open up and then the Ward of the Damned as well. We can make Skeleton Priest at the house to get chances for Scourge Stone and Grave Dust. And as well as Meredith the Bright Archer. We've got the Veil of Storm, and then we learned how to make Holy Resistance Potions. She is absolutely critical if you are trying to go take care of... I'm not going to be able to see him on here. He's like way up there. I forget his name, but he is the bishop that's in this part of the map. And in that area, you have to use that holy resistance potion. Otherwise, you'll take radiation damage when you're in the zone because it's a monastery. But I'm going to keep farming this up. But brothers and sisters, if you're loving this, make sure you hit that like button down below. Double check to make sure you're subscribed as well for that sweet be rising content and i'll ping you if anything interesting happens but it should take like 10 minutes for those bosses to respawn and if they do i'll just ignore them but i'm just going through we're just grabbing iron and then i'll meet you back at the house if nothing else really comes up just to go through what we got here we've got the merciless iron spear which is fine it's the least important one in my book but whatever we'll use it if it's all i got and we got the noble fences and fountains all right welcome back to the base brothers and sisters we've got some good old iron here so let's stack this in oh was i there we go stack this in here and actually what i'm gonna do is i'll leave that going take three out of there take four out of here four in here and then four in here there we go so that was a good little haul. Good little haul. I also found a couple nodes of iron on the way home. So that was good. Just so you all realize, um, there's my horse. We grabbed him. Leave a comment if you want to try and name said horse. But otherwise, I just went out the right side here, kind of ran through the villages looking for a horse, went to dawn break, grabbed one, left, got the portal, went home. Started to run and had to backtrack. Like, what am I doing? I don't need to go to this portal. I've got a portal right there. So we did that. Now, on our next adventure, we've got these cooking. So that means we can build our forge soon. Crafting, or the smithy, apologies. The smithy with 32 iron. I definitely do want to go do one more iron run. So I think the play is going to be this. Next time in the next episode, when we get together, we're going to head to Dawnbreak. We are going to snag Beatrice right down here. Then we may head right back after doing a bunch of cotton farming with a worker blood to then start setting up some looms and getting that process. By that time, we should be able to make some iron weapons as well. And maybe if we're lucky, that merciless iron spear we found. And then we'll probably head backwards and take care of Tristan 
get rid of Vincent and maybe the Sun Priestess, kind of depending on how much time we have. So if you're ready for that, brothers and sisters, double check to make, your, make sure you're subscribed. Smash that like button down below. And until then, I hope you bloody brothers and sisters, day is not too shabby.